there's something beautiful about fires in a dusk with a bit of fog in between. Hello everyone and welcome back to Sleepy Hollow once more. Yeah, to a city that's not having an easy time right now and we should we should actually take care of that. So we do have a few fires here and I would like to go ahead and repair right away some of the ruins that we have. I mean, I'm losing the title there again, so we are now only a dreary city because, you know, we just improved the attractiveness again and Sleepy Holder should not be attractive, right? This is not going to be a glorious metropolis or something like that. This I want to have as a dreary place to live in. What's the title right now, anyone? If only anyone with a, any damned taste worked for the local council. Yeah, that's that's probably the the right title for my for my capital city in this in this game here. Now we continue onwards right away with something very important right here, my warehouse. We're going to upgrade this to the next level, giving me a, one, a whopping 200, 150 additional uh, storage that we can take away from this. And with that, we have a maximum storage now of 400. And to top it, I could also continue building some of those depots here so that we don't run into any caps that quickly anymore. Now, Emerald Skies is coming back home, um, probably with, uh, yeah, with the goal of getting some timber, because of course, I would like to continue here with Admiral's Demise real quick as well. Mm, this is just such a perfect island, really, and I want to use everything that we have out of this. Unfortunately, no clay, right? So this is once again something that's bothering me a bit. How how difficult it actually is to get clay in this in this game this time around. Uh, wait a second, let's also take let's also take some bricks and some buttons there as well, just in case we do want to have some defenses, right? So a flamethrower and a cannon tower should be fine for this then as well. Now, while this ship is on its way, while the timber industry is continuing to increase now, while my population is really unhappy here for no apparent reasons. Um, no, the pub is there, but it's not activated yet. So we probably, probably should add a few more farmers here. There you go. So that we unlock the, the pub. There it is. And with that, the happiness should go up. There it is. Perfect. Contempt population now. All is well. Uh, we would like to continue in the meantime by, yeah. By doing something completely new and that is becoming an investor once more and in this case here will be something completely new for this let's play and that is of course purchasing shares we do have some money at hand right now 420,000 it is with a nice small well, nice comfortable balance of 5,000 increase there and of course we should start with that because the further we get into the the late game right the more expensive it becomes so we definitely want to we definitely want to purchase some shares here to yeah to ride on the wave of economic growth uh it's risky with alonso and the admiral i have no idea who will come out strong right now out of this war between them and yeah since we also taken an island here uh, from from the admiral he quickly settled on another island but it's the last island available in the old world so there it is right he's probably going to lose it now holy cow I think he might actually be losing this one here to Alonso. Uh, the Admiral, I think, is is going away soon. It doesn't seem like he's got a lot of strength left. And I think we got the first loser. Oh, this is a hard time for Alonso here now. Ah, there it is, right? And he took over that island here. That's how quickly it goes. And the Admiral is only on one island left now, so... Defense-wise, uh, yeah, it's not that bad, right? This could be difficult, actually. Hmm? Some losses would be there. Um, but I think Alonso is growing in strength. So I'm going ahead here with 110,000. And we can purchase this share here easily. And we do get 500 share value on top of that, right? So we are actually boosting my income there now a bit with that as well. And we are paving the way for island takeovers via shares. This is Miss Hunt's main island. It does cost a bit more. Um, yeah, let's go ahead and purchase this one too. And we still have 200,000 left on the coins. Um, and with that, we are an investor. And yeah, got a thousand in share value now um, out of my opponents. That of course also means that if I destroy them, I'm going to lose quite a bit of my income there as well again. Always the tricky thing. But we must have been profited from uh, until then, right? So not expecting anything else. Now, Admiral's Demise. This is the island. Ladies and gents, this is the island that I'm really happy about. We got the hops here, and we got lots of space for the pig farms. I don't really need the hops. Let's just check it out. There's my hops plantations. I'm still having room for improvements. Actually, let's go ahead and build those two. We can do this now. Money is not the biggest issue. So in poor, we are going to boost my hops production a bit. It's still not full, as we can see, right? So only one when this clipper has 50 tons of hops, it might be enough. I don't think that this is happening too soon, though. And boy, the Admiral's Demise is not going to be a pretty island. It's going to be full of pig farms, full of 
plantations. There is a nice big beach area that I definitely want to use. So let's just take this here in. There's no oil fields, unfortunately, but two coal deposits, which is going to be amazing. Um, lots of rivers, unfortunately. So if I want to go to the other side, I would have to go with a minimum of 40 tons of timber. Um, to get to this juicy area there. This is then for red pepper and uh, cattles. Here we can actually start right away with some pig farms, I would say, and some sheep farms. So this is something that we can have done in this area, just fine. And we can, of course, quickly also then check the my total consumption rate for the framework niches right now. Uh, no, sorry. Actually, let's go with only Sleepy Hollow because we are just providing for that. And the total demand here is 9 right now. And for the sausage, it's 5 together with the soap, it's 2. So that's 7 tons and that's 9 tons. So it's really not that much actually, right? This only leads to about 5 sheep farms and we would be golden already. Um, of course, we're going ahead with a bit more than that. So I would like to start with the framework niches here. That's going to be about... That's four. Yeah, let's make two rows here full. I think we should be able to do this, right? So this is a total production already of 16 tons now, unboosted, by the way. And speaking about boosting, let's actually go ahead and also give me a trade union here. Hmm. Come over here for a, a little industry zone then. And around it, we are going to have the sheep farms. So we do need eight of them, which is really not that much. So there you go, a beautiful framework near production. We got 300 farmers right now, so I could actually start with that. Uh, let's give me a second warehouse. Oh, by the way, another ship of the line, the Goblin Shark. Hello there, looking looking slick and dandy. I think, yep, we have a clipper right now, and then I can actually go with the next uh, ship ship of the line again. Those two have been repaired as well, by the way, so we should probably get all of them together again into a main fleet. That we never really go into risk of losing something here right even though it's it's rather quiet at the ocean right now there you go so we still of course also would like to go ahead with a bunch of more buildings here and we're actually full on, on timber i just realized can we upgrade here please yes let's go ahead and upgrade the trading post to get that 75 tons of additional storage out of it and now we can unload a bit more things and with that we should be golden now don't forget five of these uh, for the baseline um, and that's really cheap already right so let's go with let's go with yeah let's go with seven right away and with that let's go ahead that's the five and that's the seven that we have i'm going to keep one buffer i don't know why i'm doing this honestly eh. just because and let's give us actually a yeah a fire station as well for the industry zone closer to the harbor area then and in this case actually now the, the area above so here we have now another area then available and this is probably as much framework as i'm a uh, framework as i'm always going to need the workloads right so eight that's 16 tons that's way more than we have already so i'm feeling pretty confident with that already um yeah let's build us a few more few more farmers here. By the way, that's really a beautiful island. It's a sunny day. There's a pirate attacking. Actually intervened there. I mean, couldn't we attack? No, we can't attack right now. We're still having the white flag. Alright, she's using this, right? She's using this dilemma for me. But of course, she's going down. There it is. Perfect. Always nice to sink a pirate. I'm moving a bit further up into this, into this sorry area there, um, and we want to have. Ooh, this is tricky. The pig farms unfortunately have a huge radius. I don't want to have to combine the pig farms with my industry because here it's possible, but with the pig farms it's a bit more complicated since you also have the middle in between the rendering works and the soap factory. So I'm actually going to use three industrial buildings for that. Combining all of this into one area is just super tricky and can be very inefficient. So I rather have my pig farms far away. Um, and yeah, we can we can do this here. There's going to be the animal farms here as well. And there's going to be the red pepper farms. So this is just a perfect area for that. Plus, this is fine now. Plus, we're not intervening here with my industry zone. And then once again, yep, let's go ahead. Oops, and get me the, the warehouses on the way. Uh, probably want to have... Yeah, two should be fine for now. Together with definitely also a fire station and definitely also with a police station those worker buildings really like to ride a lot and i don't want to have any trouble there with that whoops 
a bit un unprecise this day. And we do have right now a total amount of six pig farms only, right? This is already fulfilling the demand now of my whole population. So six it is. Uh, we probably want to go with 12 at least, right? With 12, we should be really safe. And let's just see how we can do this. Because they require five, five fields in total, right? So, which is quite a lot. Yeah, so that's about 11 that we have now in here. So these are all uh, along the river, of course, which is always a tricky thing, right? There is another one that we can probably add then here as well. Perfect, right? So that we have now 12 pig farms in total together with uh, the warehouses at the center of it. 12 is fine. And with that, we also... Oops. Another ship under attack. Uh, it's that pirate again. And we probably should separate my fleet there a bit. Yeah, I'm doing this. So we're going to keep a few of them here now. And I'm definitely going to have at least four, which is a lot, no doubt. And I'm going to have those four um, down here, protecting my new world trade. Super important. And look at that range. It's beautiful. So this ship is definitely going down. There it is. It's too close to the pirate's base, though I'm not going to loot that at all, so there it is. Uh, the Clipper, Emerald Sky, you can go back. We are going to need you for the trade route soon, and there's also Covenant, a new, a new one. Now we can actually go ahead with another ship of the line, down to 40 influence. It's getting tight on this, definitely. Now, for this area here, uh, we can go ahead now with the slaughterhouses, right? So the pig farms produce now tw up to 12 tons of that. Um, so we probably should calculate with around 8 tons of that just for the sausage right now. The consumption is at 5, so with 8 I should be, I should be fine for a while. Plus also of course we have then here this uh, trade union in between. Just for some sexy boosting then in between. That's 6. And do I need to boost all of them? I don't think so. We also should leave some area available that four. And that's nine, right? That's nine sausage. We still have room for improvements in here as well. And then we have the whole soap factory production. For that, we definitely will need about six of these here. Because that will then supply three soap factories, even though that would only lead to a production of six soap per minute. I was looking right now, two, right? So we should be fine. It's three times the demand of right now and... Yeah, we have lots of room for improvements here. Let's also give me another warehouse then up there. It's a bit tight, but it's fine. And yeah, definitely also another fire station somewhere here, please. Oh, come on. Like, this should work. Uh. It's okay. It's okay, because we can always, of course, add them somewhere else. I would like to have another one then here, as close to the mountain as possible. And we definitely should also work with another... Uh, police station and some of here as well. Doesn't require that much space after all. Ah, those pirates. What is Europa doing on that side though? A bit too close to the pirate space for sure. Of course, that's a quick process here. Oh, there's some loot this time around. Pirate loot is always the best. Weapons, let's get them back home. Uh, the next ship of the line is coming out. And how is it looking, by the way, now with my rum? We have Europa on this. Just leaving port again, unfortunately. We need to really time this right to get another ship on this. So Covenant is going to be my trade route for the new world. And yeah, I will need another clipper after this as well. Because Emerald Sky already is then reserved for uh, basic farmer production. Look at that! Why are you unhappy? You actually do have the fish as well have fish eh, you don't have potatoes so we don't have potatoes here this might they're still content right and they don't need that really also they have another work clothes coming in so we could theoretically update or upgrade them already uh, there's no way you can be this unhappy just because you're missing some schnapps those people are going to the streets Hmm, here, let's keep that main road. No idea why I should have a main road here, though. Since this is never going to be a monumental city or anything like that. Just go ahead. There is the zinc deposit. We need to keep this, of course, open. There's the coal deposit. That's super important, because we need that soon as well. These are working now. Very nice. And now let's actually start with, yeah, the pig farms. Um, This actually will be limited to my timber. So let's build the two 
Warehouse is here right away, plus the police station. By the way, let's also build a police station here. We're going to need that for sure at some point. Uh, why are you having this strange ocean blue skin there? I mean, it's looking horrible, isn't it? It's looking horrible. I don't need this. We are goth. Uh, even though we don't have a skin for the Clippers, unfortunately. Holy moly, look at Brownwell. It's destructed. Uh, totally forgot. Yeah, that's when you forget a fire station. Let's do it better. Let's build two fire stations right away. Those poor souls, they just burned to the ground. Together with some industrial buildings. Yeah, there's still some fires here, so nothing I can do really. The worker residence, yeah, still has the problem. They're also going to the streets because of that. Yeah, outrageous. Uh, let's go ahead and build this also a police station that covers the city and the industrial area. Ah, uh, Brownwell, unfortunately, took a hit there. Let's get the weapons back home and emeralds, guys. You should be ready now for some trade run. Let's actually get some more timber over. We just need timber more than we can produce here right now. Do we also need, yeah, I uh, will also need a police station for the city. Those people really like to ride. Incredible. Uh, let's go ahead with, oops, come on, 100 tons. We're going to need that. A few more bricks, perhaps. And also a few more steel beams. Would be fine. So that we can also then start with a flamethrower here, right? At least one. This is such an important island that we definitely should protect it, even though this will deplete my my influence quite a bit. Flamethrower costs 15 influence, so we cannot build that many of them. Alright, the revolt is over, so I should be able now to repair. There it is. This is turning into a revolution. Seriously, there's no apparent reason why these people here should go to the streets. First of all, we just created this city. Second of all, we actually have all the demands fulfilled except for schnapps, perhaps? This must be the cause of problem here. They're even getting their freaking clothes and yet they're unhappy with their situation. I'm also still not boosting any industry here, am I? Not that I'm aware of. No, we're having no boosts whatsoever. They should really not be unhappy. Eh. Alright, this is going to be expensive. Uh, let's go ahead and build the first... Uh, let's make it five pig farms here. And also those here leading to eight pig farms that we have now activated. And then we should also upgrade a few people here to workers. The ones that would like to be upgraded. Because we're going to need them, of course, for some industrial buildings. Hmm, yeah, because of those rights. Do lack a bit of book uh, book population there right now. Uh, there I will need a warehouse. Hmm, 190 workers we have so far. That actually sounds pretty good to me. So we can go ahead and start building now the first industry, right? Right, and that's the the slaughterhouses, of course. And yeah, unfortunately they only produce one to one, right? So this is going to be quite expensive. Here we have now 5 tons of sausage production with this activated. And we do have a total consumption of 5, so this is still not enough. So let's go ahead and also create the first trade route now. This is probably pretty vital, uh, Sleepy Hollow to Admiral's Demise. And in this case here we're taking schnapps, right? I wanna, I wanna just keep them happy, seriously. And we're going to have lots of farmers and workers on this island. And schnapps just gives me a huge boost there. Um, on the other way around we are taking then in Admiral's Demise of course the workcloth. Um, let's make this two times for now, and then also the sausages, right? And we're going to unlock this. I mean, it's such a short trade route with a fast clipper. There shouldn't be the need of actually having two uh, slots here reserved for workcloth, and I don't think we're going to need that. So we might actually just replace one of these then with also then soap. Off it goes. Pretty important trade route. And let's also build that flamethrower. Even more important, because with that we're going to have a significant boost of the harbor defenses now. Lacking a bit of timber, should hopefully be coming in any second now. And then we can build the second one too. Holy cow, really, those people. Ungrateful. Port town it is for Admiral's Mice, a dreary port town, just how I like it. <laughs> and the next ship of the line is coming out, Seahorse. 
Uh, let's continue right away with the Clipper, and then we have already another ship of the line commissioned again as well. You can join. And the pirates like it, at least, that I'm increasing my military strength. No idea why. They like war. There it is, Emerald Skies with the schnapps on board. And there it's being unloaded together with the workload then. It's 100 ton this, this time around, don't, don't get fooled here, because we, we didn't transport uh, that much uh, for quite some time now. And with that, we increase the happiness quite a bit, right? I mean, come on, people. There shouldn't be a need. We should be able... Yep, there it is. Mobilizing police force. That means I can, just for a short period of time, get three police officers out on the streets. And they will now hopefully beat anyone who is a bit rebellious. Because I'm actually really providing for you guys. That's just that. Now the workload is getting over. That means also something pretty good is happening in, in Sleepy Hollow. And that is... I don't need sheep farms here anymore, right? None at all, and um, perhaps for one. We are going to save one for now. Let's get rid of those, and let's also get rid of the framework hitters and have a sailmaker here as well, right? So the sailmaker with the sheep farm is still producing. Doesn't really require that much space for the moment, um, and that's fine. And next up on the list, oh, there's another one. Let's get rid of it. Next up on the list is then already this area here that we're going to delete, of course, together with my whole soap industry. This is giving me back so much space that we can then start with the city expansion to the other side just fine. And I'm going to look forward to this, of course. And with that, we continue onwards in the next episode. Stay tuned!